scene, of course, works so well in the uh, bot lane duo of Zaya and Rakan. True, very true. Well, we'll see how that one plays out. Do you imagine that Mad want to try and get Crash the bot into getting away, but Mad Lions might not be done with this. Humanoid coming in, has the ultimate armor, looking for the kick as well. Showmaker dodging to the side as much as he can. Canyon, flash, kick, knocked away. He's still got HP. Canyon surviving, dodges the sonic wave. And Armored kicks the bear to safety and now is being collapsed on. World Ender from Khan. Infernal Chains will not pull back Humanoid, but he hasn't got anywhere to go. The gravity field coming out as well as Showmaker will kill off armor. Huge execution as the game progresses. Let's see what happens next. Canyon flashes in. Flash, bear, slap. Alyoya puts down the equalizer, but the chains will pull him back. Khan takes the kill. Powerful as it used to be. So of course, you can't quickness straight into flash, but you can flash quickness. Instead, Alyoya will... Very early on into the game, just such excellent control coming out from Darmwan and showcasing why they are such a world-class team. Even though with the gravity field, was able to keep the tower alive for a second into a showmaker. Because... Pops. It is a very difficult thing to do, especially when they starve you and suffocate you as Khan now for the collapse. Humanoid has no flash and he's got nowhere to go. Khan on a killing spree now on this Aatrox. Three opportunities. Dumb one have been just that mechanically bit better and being able to stop them in their tracks. Grand Engines here onto Canyon. He's charmed up. The quickness coming out. Kaiser's going to dodge away. TP coming in. As Mad look to join the fray, Humanoid diving onto Beryl, counter TP from Khan, Canyon low, Showmaker getting the damage in from the side though, there's the paddle staff, but the storm comes out, Kazi able to survive for the moment. Importantly, Armour did not burn his teleport to get in here, Khan locked up, the equalizer across the wall, burning the trees I'm sure, but not too many have done one instead, Alyoya flashes forward with the flame spitter, and now Armour joins the fray, Beryl down as well, Mad Lions have found a bit of a skirmish and in the will start up the dragon. And Mad Lions look to take the Rift Hold in response. Yeah, kind of crazy how... Setting up for the cross map. They're at a bit of a gold disadvantage. But Kazi's kind of the player I'm looking at. I feel like he's had a great tournament. Even in the loss yesterday to PSG, I felt like he was still a consistent playmaker. He's a little bit ahead of Ghost. He has good items. The way that they controlled the game when the LCK would out macro the world. And we saw SKT winning world championship after world championship. Now there to defend it and Kaiser stepping in. Gravity Field will keep Damon Kiyo away from the fight for the moment. That tower almost falls. Flash, hook, but Kaiser flashes in front of it. The charm coming out and there's the equalizer. Doesn't really hit onto too many people, but Beryl is low. Feather still pop on Kaiser. And Garma dives in, kills off Beryl. Here comes Khan. The world end are going to end some kills today. Elioya next on the menu. Kaiser trying to just peel back for Kazi. But Showmaker stepping in, Ghost is stepping in, and Damwon Kio is stepping in. They are saying this game is over. As well, Damwon from start to finish have been in complete control and are looking to shut down Europe's representatives. Damwon are here once again. Armored is rooted in place. He has to dive over the wall, and Humanoid is next on the menu. Kaiser diving in, diving forward. There's the equalizer onto Beryl. He will burn down. Tick, tick, boom. Mad Lions get a kill, but Damwon have control of the dragon, and they will get their third dragon of the game. They do that earlier, but Mad, as they tried to escape, end up getting chased down by Darmwon and absolutely obliterated. And the gold lead has just snowballed. 8,000 ahead now for Darmwon Kier, and they still have a minute and a half on this Red Bull Baron power play. They are in such a dominant position. Humanoid is spinning. Oh, oh my goodness, you blink and you miss it. Kazi's just dead. Darmwon Kier now pushing in mid, pushing in bot. They don't care about Humanoid. Go, get some minions. Get your farm up. We will take your towers will take your inhibs and they are pressing through the mid lane and the bottom lane simultaneously. Mid lane inhibitor first on the menu here for Dom One. It's just control, 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 control into team fight, into game. Yep. Like just beautiful stuff from beginning to end from Dom One. Absolutely excellently played and mad once again. Struggling to showcase anything against the LCK representative. That's going to be the second inhibitor taken down. He's on Ghost, three items complete as well for Showmaker. That Medja, as I see that Death Note sitting there as Beryl looks for a flank position. Mad Lions, four players strong here. Armour doesn't have the TP to join them. The rest them. of Mad are going to be forced to reset. Remember, they don't have any hips, so they're going to have to catch the midway. Well, mad, something miraculous would have to come out if they're going to turn this game around. Canyon and Khan just distracting. Making faces as mad as they push them underneath their inhibitor tower once again. The wave about seven seconds or so away. Alyoya takes a chunk. Paddle Star goes straight into his back as Canyon catches this wave as well. Super minions now almost on the Nexus Towers and Armut will be sent to deal with them. Canyon walking in, uninvited into the base of Mad Lions, but he doesn't care. He doesn't need a ticket. 
very happy just to push forward as Khan continues just to threaten the side here of Mad Lions. He can walk these minions in. You can see there's a huge wave in bot lane, Betty. That's going to be there in about 30 seconds time, and that's double super minions. <laughs> Leoya takes a paddle star. And it doesn't one, matter how yeah. many you miss, as long as one you just hits. Gotta hit one. I mean, when you've got 12 stack Medjai's, a Horizon Focus, and an Everfrost, you are going to do quite a sizable chunk of damage. More like a paddle galaxy than a star in that sort of situation. Chaos Storm used to clear out the wave, but that wave we talked about in the bot lane is marching forward. Relentless and currently unstopped. Kazi will be there to deal with it. Darmon Kia don't have a wave really in the top lane, so they are just pushing in with these supers for the moment. He's not quite as synced as they'd like. Quickness coming out. Beryl going in. The equalizer misses too much. And there's the stopwatch from Beryl. He's going to keep himself alive for the moment. It's here fighting a 4v5. One kill over to the Mad Lions. Khan knocked back, but he's in the world. And Nodik can turn this one around. Look at the healing. Kaiser's going to land the knock of Khan. One more auto will be enough. Kazi pulling back. Canyon's down as well. Mad Lions found the myself. Move. Okay, the siege from Darmon is fine. Because all they're really doing is waiting fight. into another Drake, into a lot. It feels like they need a few miracle fights in a row. Like, as much as they won that last fight, it was more pride for Lions. Than Khan now pressing forward. And it, the thing with this is Mad Lions really have to pull the trigger. You have to make a fight happen before you start to lose your inhibs again. Otherwise, you're against Super Minions and a Baron buff. Darmon will take the mid lane inhibitor. Khan can work his way down towards the bottom side. Mad going in. Kaiser looking for the engage on Canyon. Quickness was not popped there. The sleep onto El Yoya takes him down to half HP alongside a paddle star. Top lane inhibitor tower will fall, and Darmon Kia just pulling mad all around the map. Kazi exhausted. Hook. Oh, that dredge line was a whisker away from hitting. Kazi almost took the bait, but Darmon continue just to push in. Khan will take the bot lane inhibitor. Here goes Kaiser with the quickness. Knocked up with a depth charge. He really can't find the engage armor. Diving forward as well. Kaiser pops the stopwatch. But Mad Lions now on the back foot. Canyon down to about 300 HP. Kazi puts the feathers down. Beryl falling low as well. Humanoid force away. Beryl will fall. 4v4 now in the base of Mad. Ghost diving in with the killer instinct. He falls to the equalizer, but so does Kazi. One for one trade. Humanoid still alive. Coming back off the fountain. Showmaker diving forward. Canyon on the Nexus Towers will be forced away with the Death Ray, but all three inhibitors have now fallen. Showmaker picks, pick up, picks up a stopwatch just in case one isn't enough. Gets kicked back, but he's killed off El Yoya. Diving forward, Khan will take another. Canyon, mischief managed for him as he flashes away from the Death Ray, and Humanoid can only flash back to his fountain. Darm one will secure their spot alongside RNG in the semi-finals as they dismantle the Mad Lions here. An incredible performance in control from start to finish. Dom one lost.